3.0 introduced some changes to Dav's Hope and I've come across another one-stop location for gathering engineering materials. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. 3.0 introduced some minor changes to Dav's Hope. If you don't know what Dav's Hope is, it's a one-stop location where you can get a lot of the manufactured materials that you'll need for engineering mods. I have a video that goes into a little bit more detail about it in the mod icon you can click up here. But in 3.0 update, um, more materials were actually added to the sites, meaning you can now get a larger variety of materials, which at the first I thought that is great, that's going to be a, a buff to, the, um, to this method of finding materials. Now if you then dive into the details, you'll notice that a lot of the materials that was added was a lot of the lower tier materials, the tier 1, the tier 2 stuff. And it's, it seems like they are now more common than they were before. That of course means you're going to find less of the higher grade materials. So from that point of view, the changes would be a nerf. But then again, if we think about the, uh, the addition of the material trader, because now if you find lower grades and you find lots of those, you can just upgrade them to higher grades. So that I think all in all, the amount of higher grade materials you get if you include the trading up, is pretty much the same um so if the buff is it a nerf i don't really know but another thing that has changed that's really been puzzling me um that is to do with the data beacon that is at the site so previously way back um the data beacon could be scanned over and over again every time you board hop so it would be natural to include that as part of your round trip around the site that you'd end or start by just scanning that um, data beacon and collect that data that you get it has a large variety of data available for it as well but then in i think 2.4 that was removed so that you could only scan it once a week um and that was apparently because people were getting too much data from it or why from you feel like uh, that was, I don't know. But at least it was removed in such a way that you could only scan it once a week. Um, but then in 3.0 it was reintroduced that you can now scan it on every relock, but the amount of data you get is only one. Uh, so previously after you completed the scan you would get three units of data, now you're only getting one. Um, so again is that a buff? Is that a buff? Is that a nerf? <laughs> it's a buff. I don't know. Um, it could be either. But that's some of the changes that have been made. Now, in one of my recent live streams, I came across a uh, a site. There's an exploration camp C number four, and um, this is pretty much a copy paste version of Daft's Hope. It's exactly the same. Materials spawn in the same location. The data beacon gives the same. Um, the same data and everything's pretty much the same. There's some slight variations with the position of the um, uh, of the ship or this, the site locks, the information about what's happened at the site. Those are, are placed slightly different, but other than that, it's a complete copy paste. I'll post both the, the system uh, name, the planet, and the coordinates that uh, the site located at. And the interesting thing about this specific site is it is pretty much exactly at the opposite side of the bubble compared to Daft's Hope. Daft's Hope has always been at the outer edge of the bubble um, in the direction of the Pleiades sector. But this site here, um, the exploration camp, is at the other side, a uh, complete opposite, opposite side. So that means if you're in that half of, of human space, you could, have, by, you could just go here instead, since you would get the same materials. Um, and you don't have to travel as far. So that can be a, a convenient thing. It doesn't really add a lot of new in terms of, of methods to get material, but it makes it a little bit more convenient. You don't have to travel all the way across the bubble just to go to Daft's home. But let me know in uh, in the comment section uh, below the video, what you think is, do you think those changes introduced in, um, in the latest patch is a buff? Is it a nerf? Um, what have you experienced with the time that you've spent, if you've spent any time at Dav's Hope? And um, if you found this video useful or informative, remember to give the video a like so that I know that I like this kind of stuff. And also subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.